going on my kings my queens and my in-betweens what's going on my virgos it's your good sis lava the empress and for those who are new to my channel i give that spiritual tea and see what's going on in your life what kind of advice i can give to you at this time make sure you hit that subscription button below because it's free and because i'm lit like that so treat me nice okay um also leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what resonates for you now virgo this video is going to be what is something that i first noticed about you or a spirit or your friends or whatever what is what is the first thing that people notice about you when they see you or whatever the case may be when they start to get to know you okay off the bat i feel like people are not like sometimes you could probably come off easily unapproachable okay like people um second guess when they approach you Virgo, not because you're doing anything necessarily wrong, but most of you have that uh, rust in bitch face or whatever the case may be. Or if you're a male, you just have that demeanor that is, you know, naturally either aggressive or assertive into a way that people that have just passive energy, um, they hesitate to come towards you here. I feel like you guys come off initially when people the first thing that people notice about you or you come off as someone who likes to be alone or likes to do things alone or naturally you know like to yeah just handle everything alone because you guys are perfectionists you like everything your way in the way that you vision it so i feel like people naturally notice that that that's probably the, the first thing like you are unapproachable and you kind of seem like you are the lone wolf here okay um however i also see that you guys do possess a lot of love here you have a lot of love for the people that you hold clear um really dear to your heart i'm seeing that um with this room next to the foe in reverse like, you give no room for the enemies. That's what I got from here. Like, you do not let people, just anybody, get close to you enough to where they can really, really damage you. Like, you always try to stay one step ahead. And you only let your friends or people that you trust in your intimate space, okay? Whether that's intimate emotional space or physical space. Um, because you are a very loyal person, all right? You you can be very faithful to your friends, okay? Um Virgo, you definitely are not emotionally expressive. Like, you probably express your emotions in aggression. And that, like I said, with that um, not being easily approachable card. Yeah, you kind of, you, you're not good with expressing. You're not the crier, okay? And if you're crying, it's, you're crying around people that you really, really trust that has your best interests. But you're not the crier here. You're not really emotionally expressive. I feel like you guys do get intuitive hints, or you, you definitely are very intuitive. I don't know if you talk to, you know, God through prayer, or if you just have like a morning routine that you usually do to get more connected with the universe. I feel like you guys do a lot of research as well. Um, but all in all, I feel like even even with your dreams here as well. And this is also, you know, it's weird because what I'm getting from this card is that people feel like, or the first thing they notice about you is that even though you are a loner, it's because you've been through a lot of phases in your life. So who you are right now is definitely not who you used to be. You used to be a different person. And like, I feel like with each experience, you go through a phase, if you see these her face in different angles here you go through a phase that teach you more about yourself here and that is how spirit contacts you for those who feel like you're not really intuitive I feel like everybody has some type of intuition that they can tap into whether or not you listen to it that's on you and it comes in different forms and different methods but moving on to what's the first thing they notice about you people feel like you are very seductive okay people feel like you are that city girl city boy type vibe you get up you give up those hot pants type of vibes okay like people naturally gravitate towards you because you have a sex appeal but a lot of people um um feel like they either gossip in a bad way or maybe you'll be a part of gossip sometimes 
or you are the the one they're gossiping about or whatever the case may be but um over and all people love to have fun with you like you're the type of person to take to the party and know that you'll be okay and you're gonna have a good time here okay so some of you could be a little too indulgent and that's what people see about you like maybe your choices like some addictions that you need to let go of or whatever the case may be people see that about you especially when you're in your low vibrational state and you're only focused on what has happened to you instead of looking at the bigger picture I feel like you guys go through things that, you know, keep you at a standstill where you're just constantly planning and dreaming of how you want things to work out for you, but your low self-esteem, okay, or not even just low self-esteem, but your refusal to acknowledge another perspective is what makes you become unfocused and then from being unfocused you start to focus and realize that you are really all you need and that's why you you know continue to be by yourself here and do things alone or get things done alone here um and you wait for your results you can be patient patient and loyal waiting for your results because you know that they're going to come in from all the hard work you put into like i said you're not emotionally expressive but you are very loving and caring and protective you are the protective type and that's what people notice about you that's what i notice about you that's why i mess with you virgo some of you have a hard time going with the flow here especially when you're in your low low vibrational state but when you're in your high vibrational state you are the type that thinks quick on your feet but also you know how to go with the flow you know how to let things rock okay um like i said in order to be in that vibe if you're not in that vibe now you have to ground yourself you have to ground your energy but you guys used to meditate or you used to do yoga or you used to just play music in the morning or something like that because that's a form of meditation there and i feel like you should start getting back into that if you stop doing that um with this success card here, like I said, you work hard to achieve the goals that you achieve, so, and you like to do it alone so that you can take all the credit. <laughs> But people notice that about you, okay? But they know that you come from a loving space here. And sometimes when you do doubt yourself, it's only a fuel for you to challenge yourself in a way. And I feel like that's what people notice about you, that you love to challenge yourself, okay? Even if you don't have all the answers, you put the work in anyway is what I'm hearing here. And like I said, self-esteem. So self-esteem may be a huge issue for you right now. If not, it was in the past. And some of you have to let go of those past hurts, that those past people that um, hurt your pride in any type of way so that you can get moving and get to this abundance that you're trying to get to. But all in all, people see that maybe they feel like, I feel like on the exterior, you put up a high self-esteem to where you're like super confident. And that's why people want to gravitate towards you here okay some of you could be very impatient or impulsive here but at the same time like I said your impulsiveness works with the fact that you can think on your feet quickly if not I feel like people notice that you can be very impatient you want results and you want it the now you want it now okay because you are this is like your fear right here you are you have a fear of failing you have a fear of having a vision and it just does not go as planned here but either way i feel like even if it does you goes back you go back to the drawing board and you do this whole process over again to where you'll plan you know you'll still cry over spilled milk but then you'll go back into yourself and see what else needs to be you know fixed in order for you to get to this you know high energy this emperor energy to where you are in control of everything that you need to be in control of because you guys are perfectionists here okay so that's what i'm seeing let me know if i'm wrong all right let me see did i say this yeah you guys do not finish a project maybe some of you when you're in your low vibrational state you may have a project and then leave the project and not continue it but i feel like if it's something you're really passionate about you definitely find ways to finish this project you will work on it for years until it is what you wanted it to be you do not finish something or you do not half ass anything okay and so that's what i'm seeing for my virgos that's what people notice about you if this resonates in any type of way let me know in the comment section below it's your good sis alava the empress and i'll see you in your next video
Bye, Virgo.